All right, so I got some tool cabinets here. My uh, tools have been overflowing as of late. It's starting to clutter up my garage and my brain, so I gotta deal with that. Didn't quite fit into the Jeep. So I have to get those out. And unfortunately, the driveway is blocked, so I'm gonna have to drag them into the garage. So, handy thing with the Jeep is you can strap the tailgate down. Like so. Might even be able to close the tailgate if I had them laying down flat. So we'll take a look at what these are after I get the note into the garage. Okay, so I got the uh, storage lockers into the garage here. So these are Husky 36 inch wide storage lockers. I think they're about 20 inches deep and uh, six feet high. So when you look at the uh, details for these for sale, they say they have like eight shelves or something in them, but that is not the case. You can only, uh, you get them with three shelves plus the base, and then you can buy additional shelves at a, a bit of a premium. So I'm gonna try to get by with the shelving I've got currently. So we'll pop one of these open and uh, see what we have on the inside. your money goes into packaging. You've got a little QA chart here to verify everything is supposed to be in here is supposed to be in here. Hopefully that's it for the knife. So a lot of people complain that these things are damaged when they order them online. And I can see that happening because there's 143 pounds per box. And if somebody has to deliver this to your house, they're going to drag it just like I did. So after that, you didn't have to go up any stairs or anything. So I believe this is the uh, base. They say not to put these on uh, casters, but honestly, it would be kind of handy if you could. Obviously they're going to be tippy if you do that, so you should build a frame for it. More packaging. I would say that this is the top, with the magnets built in, it has some nut certs in it. I saw that they sell pegs for these doors at the store. I don't know if it comes with any. I didn't check the packaging. So there's a lot of peg holes pre-drilled into this. There's a catch at the top and bottom here. It looks like you just drop the hinges in where they need to be. More packaging. door. Again, lots of holes drilled into it. it says the load for each door is 11 pounds <laughs> for the pegs. So I'm probably not going to buy any pegs. Oh, 
I was thinking about maybe hanging my vice grips in there because they take up a fair amount of space, but apparently not. So plan on spending a full garbage bag for throwing your packaging out. I don't think anyone takes things home anymore for recycling. This will be one of the sides. Telling us that this is not garbage. It's got the keys and stuff in it. It's not packaging. Here's a shelf. So you can see the shelves are reinforced to some extent. I don't know why you couldn't use plywood for the shelf for the replacement, other than you probably need to get the uh, metal tabs to hold it in place. Instructions. Shelf. Shelf. So that's three shelves now. Much more packaging. Another wall. Okay, so those pieces with the holes in the middles of them are the back walls. So you must have to assemble the, the back wall in these pieces here. It makes sense because the box is not 36 really inches wide. plywood in here might come in useful for something. It's four ply. Alright, so uh, I'm just going to turn off the camera, stuff this stuff in a bag that's not recyclable, and then we'll uh, start putting it together. Alright, I guess we'll put this thing together. So when you go through, there's no nuts in the package, so there must be nut search for everything, which is really good because there's got to be a hundred screws. They give you two lag bolts, an Allen key, and uh, an Allen driver. So I'm just going to use uh, my impact gun. Speed things up a little bit. I can set that to low torque so I don't destroy anything. So the lags are here as well as a strap. So what they want you to do is uh, put this up against the wall and strap the cabinet to the wall so it can't fall over and kill anybody. And that kind of makes sense. It's got self-adjusting feet. Not self-adjusting, but you, they're adjusting screw type feet. The spacing on the holes center to center is metric. I don't have a metric tape. I'm not too sure. But anyway, it's pretty clear you're not supposed to put casters on this thing because it'll probably kill somebody. So uh, to put it together, they say to put the uh, feet on the base and then uh, go from there. Hopefully my camera's got enough battery and we can just do this in one shot. Just put the feet so they're out most as possible. You might want to get a plastic cup or something to put these things in so you can keep track of them. See what a good way of doing this is. I'm going to set two. Screw.
Yeah, so you get all four screws in and start before you hammer on them. That way your holes are locked up still. Lots of that going on. There's a lot of screws here. But they're all the same size. So that is good. Oops. Not sure if you can see what I'm doing right now or not. Yeah, put one in too far. Gonna check the camera. Now you can sort of see what I'm doing. My battery is about to die for some reason. So I guess I can't film the whole thing. Alright, so I'm just gonna stop this and we'll go through the uh, main steps. Alright, so putting on the uh, bottom and the top is pretty easy. There's just uh, two screws there and two screws on the uh, side, on both sides of the cabinet. Then for the top, there's two on the face there, two on the face there, and then there's two on the inside. Probably can't see nothing in there. But anyway, so it looks like most of the fasteners are going to be hidden. The hinges are riveted on, you don't need to worry about them. There's magnets. So I'm going to tighten these up and try to get it as square as I can. And then I think we'll stand it up and put the back on. There's really not too much to this. All right. So squaring it up is going to be fairly easy. Again, there's all nut certs on the back of this, so they say to lay it down on its front. But I'm just on concrete, so I don't want to scratch up the face of it. So I just got it on the box. So I just uh, whip all these panels in here. And I had to go through my garbage to find the keys. I didn't realize they're actually inside of that plastic thing. I don't know why they wouldn't have been in a bag inside of it. So be it. That's the way it is. So uh, keep an eye out for that. And they say to put the doors on last, so I guess. Uh, after we do this, we put in the shelving, and then we put on the doors. Alright, so just going through, putting all the back panels in. I haven't tightened any of the screws. It seems like it's uh, better just to leave them loose, and then you can jiggle it around and square it. For the top panel, you have to put it in like this, slide it in, and then drop it into position. Then if you have a, a drill driver to put in the screws, you can just put it on the tip of the driver put it in. That's the uh, fastest way of getting those screws started. Just about done now. So putting in the drawers can be, or shelves can be a bit fiddly. And having three shelves in here is kind of silly. There is not enough shelving. Getting the top one in is a bit tricky. We just kind of slide them in like this and put them in. So I this one. You always say to make sure you're locked in. I'll figure that out in a minute. And then uh, putting on the doors is also a bit tricky because it looks like the hinge pins are the same length. They should have had one hinge pin different, longer than the other to make it easier to get them into position. So I'd say like that. Looks like I'm not quite square. I'm off by about half an inch. Got to work on that. And it comes with two door security screws, and they're not in the manual anywhere. Two hex uh, bolts here. Got to figure out where they go. And uh, at that point, I'll start loading up the toolbox. So then I'll show you a clip after uh, I get it filled up uh, as to where I'm at with that. Alright, so I got the cabinets into the room with the other toolbox now. So I found that you have to lift the cabinet up on a, its corner to tighten the back bolts. You might as well leave all the back bolts loose until you have the doors on and then you can figure out if you're square or not. And uh, I found that you can't see inside of these things. It would have been better if the interiors were painted white. You'll see a lot of electrical equipment is done that way. One good thing is you can have these butted up against each other and the uh, doors won't hit each other, so you can keep them fairly close together if you want. 
And uh, so I bought these two cabinets here for about $100 less than the cabinet beside them. And the reason for that is I have a lot of bulky items that I wanted to put away and they don't need to be mobile. So I'm going to be putting them in here. And I'll just take a quick measurement of this toolbox here. So this is 61 inches wide. And this is uh, just under 70 inches tall. So basically, these two together is the same as that cabinet there, if it was standing up on its side. So there should be quite a bit of space so I can move my bigger tools that I don't use too often and put them in here, where they're uh, out of mind. So that's good for me. So I keep saying I'm going to put some things in these toolboxes, so I'm going to do that next. I will say that they are very tippy when they're empty, so you should put the straps into the studs in the walls so they can't fall forward. You can also remove the doors off of this. You can just lift them both off together. So you could put some little uh, brackets inside to prevent lifting the doors off. They come with two Allen keys screws that I can't figure out what they're for. But they say door security, so perhaps they play into that somehow, but it's not very apparent how that would work. So I'll just go and put some things in the toolboxes now. Alright, so I made my first attempt here at filling these cabinets. I did figure out what the uh, door security screws are. So you put them in here, when you close the door, they uh, mesh into each other. So you can put one on each corner. It would have been better if they provided eight of them. They only gave two per cabinet. So I just got some uh, special tools, my lamps, some socket sets I need to sell, some stuff that I use, socket sets, storage bins, ultrasonic cleaner, vacuum, metal working tools, more metal working tools, more. It's getting dark, can't really see very well. The HDX collapsible bins fit in here. Got a beater bag, got my mini drill press down there, a vibratory cleaner, some soldering kits, a uh, leak down kit, and some bearing pullers. So we're pretty much full at that point. It would have been nice to have one more shelf in each of them because you don't really want to stack more than two things on each other. It becomes a bit of a pain when you want to get stuff out. Then my toolbox is not quite the insanity that it used to be. Still lots in that shelf. This uh, drawer is pretty much empty. Then my uh, grinding section is mostly just grinding stuff now. Other than soldering iron has to come out of there. Then my more special tools, they're just piled in there. Some of them have to come out. Because right now it's sort of like a, a Jenga puzzle to get those things out of there. So that's uh, no good for working quick. So I'm pretty happy with uh, the way things turned out. Would have wished they had more shelves. Definitely don't tighten the back until you have the doors on. And uh, I think you're good to go. If you have kids around, definitely tighten that thing onto the wall. Or even if uh, a family member might try to climb those shelves, they'll be squashed pretty quick. You could probably put the lag bolts right through the uh, holes in the back here, right into the wall with some washers might be better than using that strap because it seems like they match my studs perfectly. So uh, consider doing that. But definitely should be mounted to the wall. You might remember Ikea. They had a bunch of uh, bookshelves that were killing kids because they'd climb onto them and they're really shallow and they'd flip over on top of the kids and squish them. So uh, thank you for watching.